For those of you that don't know, February is Lamb Lovers Month, so I'm partnering up with the American Lamb Board to bring you the perfect date night recipe. Pan-roasted American lamb loin chops with a tart cherry compote. These are absolutely jam-packed with flavor. Let's not waste any time. Let's start that prepping. Sound good? Let's cook. The first thing we need to do is marinate our lamb, and I have 10 lamb loin chops. Most people associate a lamb chop with rack, but an equally great alternative is a loin chop, which is what I'm going to be using for this recipe. These little four ounces immune boosting lamb chops are lean, tender, and packed with protein, zinc, among others, and loads of delicious flavor. Along with amazing nutritional properties, by purchasing American lamb, you directly support the farmers and ranchers in your surrounding communities. Let's go ahead and set those lamb chops to the side. And now I'm gonna pull out 15 to 20 fresh thyme sprigs. Now, whenever it is that I use thyme, I absolutely cut the stem as well. There's just so much good flavor in there and what a waste to only use the leaves. After cutting it, we'll render about two tablespoons. Just set that to the side. And next I've got two shallots. What we wanna do is just slice the end off each of those. We're next going to simply slice it in half, take off that hard outside peel. And then what we wanna do is small dice these. Now I've cut extra one for the marinade and the other part is gonna be for the sauce at the end, but go ahead and set all of them to the side in a bowl. For garlic, we are gonna go super heavy here. I'm talking eight garlic cloves. You know me, I don't have time to cut these anymore. We'll run it right through a press, right into a bowl, set those to the side, and now let's make our marinade. We are going to begin by zesting up one lemon. This is gonna add so much great citrus flavor into here. Now we wanna squeeze the juice of that lemon in there. It's okay if you get a seed. This is a marinade, we're not cooking it. At this point, we are gonna add in three-fourths of the garlic that was run through the garlic press, three-fourths of the small dice shallots, and again, three-fourths of the fresh thyme. We wanna season it well with salt and fresh cracked black pepper. About a teaspoon and a half of salt and a half teaspoon of pepper will season this marinade up perfectly. And at this point, we're gonna add in one and a half cups of olive oil. You could absolutely use any of your favorite oil here. Whisk this together until it is completely combined. And then at this point, we're just going to briefly set it to the side. Let's pull out a casserole dish and transfer our lamb loin chops right into that dish because we are gonna use it to marinate. Grab that delicious marinade, speaking of the devil, and pour it all over the top. Now, what I like to do after I pour the marinade in is sort of just move them around a little bit, get all those ingredients on the lamb chops, moving everything around, then cover it in plastic wrap. And what we're gonna do is just head right over and pop it in the refrigerator. Now, because this marinade is so full flavored, you'll get all that goodness in just one to four hours right in the refrigerator. But if you can leave it overnight, you'll get even more flavor. Okay, here's what we do now. Let's go ahead and pull the lamb chops out. They've been marinating for about two hours. And my favorite ways to cook lamb are by slow cooking and braising, pan searing, smoking, or grilled. However, these lamb loin chops are great to cook quickly in the pan or on a grill. So what we're gonna do is go right over to a large cast iron skillet. We're gonna add in one tablespoon of olive oil, crank the heat to medium high. Once it begins to lightly smoke like this, perfect time to start pan searing. What I like to do before I pan sear is just move the lamb chops around to get off any excess garlic and shallots because if there's too much on there, they can burn. Add them to the pan and spread them out. Remember, we are searing them, not steaming them and immediately add in one tablespoon of unsalted butter, gonna help add some good fat and flavor here. We are gonna cook these for two to three minutes per side. The USDA recommends cooking them till they reach 145 degrees Fahrenheit internally, and then letting them rest for three minutes. So after we are done cooking them, they got a perfect golden brown on there, so much flavor. Make sure you take the time to do this. We're just gonna set them to the side in a pan and let them rest. Now for the sauce. I am going to remove a lot of this stuff in the cast iron skillet. There's a little bit too much butter and fat in there, and we don't wanna overcook the shallots and garlic. So let's add one more tablespoon of unsalted butter. 
Let's add the remaining quarter small dice shallot, quarter of the finely minced garlic that we minced up, and we are going to grab a spoon and move all this goodness around. Now, they always say once you can smell garlic, it's already done cooking. So this is going to take maybe 30 to 45 seconds for it to quickly brown up and for the garlic to finish. At this point, we are going to add in a half cup of red wine. I prefer to use Merlot here because it's got a nice fruity finish. We are going to cook this to a sec or almost gone. So at medium high heat, it's just going to take a minute or two to have about one tablespoon left. This is perfect. We're now going to add in three cups of good beef stock. And I mean, please use good beef stock. What we want to do is cook this on high heat and reduce it until there's only about a half to three quarters cup left. It will become nice and thick like a gravy. The flavor will concentrate. It will be absolutely delicious. But let's finish this sauce off. We're going to add in a third cup of dried cherries, followed up with another tablespoon of unsalted butter. And what I like to do is add in a teaspoon each of finely minced thyme, chives, and parsley. Adds flavor, adds some greenery. It's awesome. Mix all of those things together and until the butter is completely dissolved into the sauce. But let's grab our lamb because we need to sort of reheat this up. So add it back to the pan, move them around on both sides. Maybe we'll take two to three minutes to warm these back up. This honestly smells incredible. Cannot wait to try these. And it is always all about these basic fundamental techniques to help elevate your everyday cooking. Making sure that marinade is so flavorful, searing them so they're perfectly golden brown, reducing that sauce so it's thick, so it's delicious. I'm telling you, when you put these things into practice over and over again, it will absolutely make you a way better home cook. And the homemade food from scratch that comes from it, it's the best around. And these American lamb loin chops are absolutely incredible. I'm going to show you how to plate them up because I have a few more things to add to it. Here's how you do it. Now, you can absolutely serve these up in a pan. I'm going to put them in a little serving dish. I like to layer them on there. Now, grab all of that sauce and this sauce is incredible you should absolutely try it without the lamb it's awesome and add it right to the top make sure you get all those cherries all over the top that cherry will cut so well with the lamb and then i'm going to finish it with two teaspoons of crushed roasted salted pistachios and then i have a little bit more of that herb blend the chive parsley and thyme just going to sprinkle it on the top for a nice little green garnish. And my goodness, let's get in this. Mm -hmm. 